Ready? We're on the Quran. And we are starting on verse 38. A uh, quick uh, disclaimer. I ordered some Puerto Rican food because I didn't have time to go to the store today. So if the bell rings and I have to click the end of the video quickly, uh, that's why. Um, I'm so hungry. But it's yummy foods on the way. Okay. He will say, Enter ye in the company of the peoples who passed away before you. Men and jinns into the fire. Every time a new people enters, it curses its sister people that went before until they follow each other all into the fire. Sayeth the last about the first, our Lord. It is these that misled us, so give them a double penalty in the fire. He will say, doubled for all, but this ye do not understand. Then the first will say to the last, See then, no advantage have ye over us, so taste ye of the penalty for all that ye did. To those who reject our signs and treat them with arrogance, no opening will there be of the gates of heaven, nor will they enter the garden until the camel can pass through the eye of the needle. Such is our reward for those in sin. For them there is hell, as a couch below, and folds and folds of covering above. Such is our requital of those who do wrong. But those who believe and work righteousness, no burden do we place on any soul but that which it can bear. They will be companions of the garden, therein to dwell forever. You know what's interesting is it says like no burden do we place on any soul but that which it can bear and when you're bearing it it feels like you can't bear it right it feels like oh i'm gonna snap i'm gonna crush i can't take it but it's it's interesting to have like a text that you know specifically says like oh it's gonna be tough you know they will be companions of the garden therein to dwell forever and we shall remove from their hearts any lurking sense of injury Beneath them will be rivers flowing, and they shall say, Praise be to Allah, who hath guided us to this felicity. Never could we have found guidance, had it not been for the guidance of Allah. Indeed, it was the truth that the apostles of our Lord brought unto us. And they shall hear the cry, Behold, the garden before you, ye have been made its inheritors for your deeds of righteousness. The companions of the garden will call out to the companions of the fire. We have indeed found the promises of your Lord to us true. Have you also found your Lord's promises true? They shall say, Yes, but a crier shall proclaim between them. The curse of Allah is on the wrongdoers, those who would hinder men from the path of Allah and would seek in it something crooked. They were those who denied the hereafter. Between them shall be a veil, and on the heights will be men who would know every one by his marks. They will call out to the companions of the garden, Peace on you. They will not have entered, but they will have an assurance thereof. When their eyes shall be turned towards the companions of the fire, they will say, Our Lord, send us not to the company of the wrongdoers. The men on the heights will call certain men whom they will know from their mark, saying, Of what profit to you were your hordes and your arrogant ways? Behold, are these not the men whom ye swore that Allah with his mercy would never bless? Enter ye the garden, nor, feel sh nor fear shall be on you, nor shall ye grieve. The companions of the fire will call to the companions of the garden, Pour down to us water, or anything that Allah doth provide for your sustenance. They will say, Both these things hath Allah forbidden to those who rejected him, such as took their religion to be mere amusement and play, and were deceived by the life of the world. Oh, look at that. Those who rejected him, one such as took their religion to be mere amusement and play, and were deceived by the life of the world. That day shall we for forget them, as if forgot the meaning of the day of theirs, and as they were wont to reject our signs. Treating you religion as amusement and play. That's interesting. How would people do that? 
there's a number of ways but indeed going to church and doing naughty things and trying to like hit on the pastor or like the pastor hitting on some of his you know people's wives I don't know there's a lot in the congregation there's a lot of playing around interesting it makes me think of the Kanye West and Joel Olstein. That's amusement. You have an artist who, you know, is a multimillionaire, married a, a woman who got famous off a porn film, a homemade porn film, and who peddles, you know, a lot of materialism and plastic surgery. And Joel Olstein, uh, he denied uh, the flood of victims. He, they needed, they wanted to go into the mega church. He didn't let the flood of victims go on his mega church. If he truly believed in his faith, he would have allowed his church to actually be used as a church, a sanctuary, but he didn't. And both of them are really uber rich and are getting more rich based off of them hanging out with each other. That's what comes to my head when they say that like you treat the religion to be like amusement and play and deceived by the life of the world, like the riches of the world. It's interesting very interesting for we had certainly sent unto them a book based on knowledge which we explained in detail a guide and a mercy to all who believe do they just wait for the final fulfillment of the event <laughs> there's a lot of people who do oh, there's a lot of people who do man there's a lot of people who do sit around doing nothing to make the world better on the day the event is finally fulfilled, those who disregarded it before will say, The apostles of our Lord did indeed bring true tidings. Have we no intercessors now to intercede on our behalf? Or could we be sent back? Then should we behave differently from our behavior in the past. In fact, they will have lost their souls, and the things they invented will leave them in the lurch. Your guardian... Lord is Allah, who created the heavens and the earth in six days, and is firmly established on the throne of authority. He draweth the night as a veil o'er the day, each seeking the other in rapid succession. He created the sun and the moon and the stars, all governed by laws under his command. It is not his to create and to govern, blessed be Allah, the cherisher and sustainer of the worlds. I like how it says, worlds uh, as in the plural because see there's a lot of like when i went through my angry atheist phase i was like why is the bible just talks like it's like makes it sound like the earth is this is, is it right and then you think like well there's mathematically statistically there's probably like some other organisms on other planets considering how many galaxies there are so what's interesting is that this is like world so it's like no 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 this world any world Worlds in general, God is ruling over all of that, right? So it's interesting. It's good that they have that. Call on your Lord with humility and in private, for Allah loveth not those who trespass beyond bounds. Do no mischief on earth after it hath been set in order, but call on him with fear and longing in your hearts. For the mercy of Allah is always near to those who do good. It is he who sendeth the winds like heralds of glad tidings, going before his mercy when they have carried the heaven heavy laden clouds we drive them to a land that is dead make rain to descend thereon and produce every kind of harvest therewith thus shall we raise up the dead perchance ye may remember wow. all right family we're doing great we really are i still think a sustainer of the worlds and if you want to get super matrixy about it, you could say like that applies to like dimensions and stuff, right? So if you go into another dimension, the creator is still the master of that dimension. It's not just this one and this reality. Very cool. 